The process of oil painting is quite chemical in a sense that you should know what you're doing with colours, know what certain colours and certain paints can do. It starts with underlay acrylic painting or very seldom a drawing, just direct paint. And then these things would probably end up as I thought I envisioned it and then it'll change step by step. We're taking off, putting on, sanding, varnishing, more colour, less colour, other ideas because when I work on one thing, I'm thinking of the next one. But I also think talking too much about painting is like dancing about architecture. It's uh, not really necessary. I get my inspiration from older art movements like the Russian suprematists and uh, the, let's call it abstract expressionism from Europe in the 50s and 60s. I don't like the term abstraction because I don't think it's really apt something that's more apt for mathematics, I'd say. So some of these colours have an oldish view to them, like 1950s or 60s, or certain greens and yellows and reds. Almost pastel-like and a little bit old. I pretty much started out as a landscape painter, making conjured landscapes, uh, painting landscapes that don't exist. So I'm working from landscapes, changing colours and putting objects on the landscapes. It's as if the scene has just been left alone. Maybe just off camera there's a human activity. So some of them are a little bit barren or, or ominous. And then like later influences, I started putting objects on top of the landscapes. Basically to see how many kind of shapes I can make without repeating myself and see what happens. These geometric shapes I started putting on the landscapes and on the painted surface, I think I got influenced again from European paintings, seeing things in Scandinavia that it's all about shape and colour. There's not too much meaning connected to them. So I thought maybe I'd make these shapes into structures and see what happens then. I don't use reference material, and they're just a metaphor for things that can't be depicted otherwise. The germination of ideas for the paintings come from many sources, mostly outside of the studio or out of my own head. Uh, <laughs> some inner visions or words that trigger it, and then these get put together to make shapes or structures, or even a landscape, and end up as a finished painting. I find the end product to be successful if there's a connection between the emotional content depicted in the work or that I thought I put in and the viewer. 